Welcome all trainees to the today's session. In today's session, we will learn that what softwares are required to develop an Android app. So uh, we are using the Java path and in the Java path, uh, first of all, we need Java, which means we need to download the latest JDK from the Google. So this is software number one that is required. And then we will be requiring an IDE and the IDE for this we will be using is Android Studio. So we need to download the latest version of Android Studio. And the third one, we will be uh, needing the device driver software. Which means if, let's say, if we are using uh, Samsung Mobile for uh, testing the application for deploying the application then we will be needing a samsung device driver if we are using a vivo mobile phone then we will be using the device driver for the vivo mobile phone so uh, i am using a vivo mobile phone so i am writing vivo let's say 12 pro device driver and this is uh, this is depending upon which device you are using. So you need to download that device driver from the web. So let us start today and we will learn uh, first the Java download. So we need to uh, find out the latest version of the Java. So we'll go to the Google and uh, we'll go to the Google and we'll ask Google latest JDK download. So we will go to the latest JDK download and remember we will only be using the official website of the Java that's the oracle.com. So we will go to the oracle.com and we will go to the Java downloads and from this uh, Java downloads we will be scrolling down and we can see that uh, we have this Java 18 as the latest Java SE development kit. So we will be downloading this uh, Java 18 and depending upon which operating system we are using, we are using Linux, we are using Mac operating system or we are using a Windows system. So here I am using a Windows system. So I have selected Windows in the category and then I will be using the and then I'll be downloading this x64 MSI installer. So the file size is 152.25 MB. So I'll be using this x64 MSI installer. And we will click on this link uh, to download this x64 MSI installer. So you can see the download has begun. It will be completed very soon and once it is completed, we will uh, execute this MSI installer and complete our installation of the JDK. Now you can see the installation is completed. So I'll just click on this uh, MSI installer. So it's preparing to install. So we can see this is installing the latest Java version this is 18.0.2 for 64 bit setup you need to remember that your system needs to be 64 bit then we'll click on next here so this is asking the path of installation java installation path in my case it's c program files java jdk 18.0.2 i'll keep the path as it is and if you want to change you can change from here I always advise that you keep it into the C program file. So I'll just click next and the installation begins. It will take a little bit time. Okay, it's completed. Now you can see uh, the Java SE development kit 18.0.2 successfully installed. If you want to access the tutorials or API documentation, you can click here on the next step. But I just don't want to do that. So I'm clicking on this close button. So once we are done, we want to check whether this Java is installed in our system or not. For that, we'll be opening the run command. And in the run command, I'll be typing CMD so that I can open the command line. And in the command line, I'll be clicking on Java. So if I click on Java and I see something like this, this message 
so this is showing that the Java is installed in our system. Now let us check, let's say if we want to check which version we have installed or we are already having in our system. So we can simply type on the command line Java dash version. So you can see this will give us the uh, version of Java JDK installed in our system. Here you can see this is Java version 18.0.2. So we are done with the first step installation of the Java and uh, the next session we will be downloading the Android Studio. And once we download the Android Studio, we will install the Android Studio and we'll run our first Android app.